But we are back right now, and Jonathan Kome was sharing about um, how Nigerians, are, Nigerians have embraced the word of God. And before that, just introduce yourself again and again with Jonathan Kome, who oh, is he, where, are you, where do you come <laughs> from? You know, guys, I just hear you mean that your Nigerians want to pend the word of God. Why? Why Nigeria? Why am I bringing up such a big name here? Oh, okay. So my name is Jonathan Kome with the K K O M E. Jonathan. Um, I'm an Igbo boy from Nigeria. That's the East. Um, I'm one sold out to God. Um, I'm into music. I, I, I spread the word of God by music. Um, so you can basically say I'm an evangelist. I go around spreading the word of God, His love, His wisdom, and His truth. And by God's mercy, I, I listen to Him and give breath to and help breath forth his song to his people. My desire is to unite worshippers, true worshippers, yes. so that we are able, beyond tribe, beyond country, beyond color, so that we are able to raise the right fragrance of worship for our one true God who reigns forever. So I am a sold out servant to God, <laughs> and the office God has placed me <laughs> is in the ministry what an intro. of worship. What an intro. You. you can clearly tell that Nigerians, Nigerians have impressed the word of God. You know, that time people didn't get you clearly. Okay. I want you to just repeat that because it's really powerful when you fade away, God now has come. Yeah you know, embraces yeah. you and they will see more of God yeah. in you yeah. rather than yeah. seeing you. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so basically it's, it's this. I, I came to understand really why there has to be gross darkness mm -hmm. because the, once darkness is gross, it means it's very thick. Light is seen. Even the tiniest light is mm -hmm. seen. So for me, from my own experience, I, I have come to a place where everything wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And then you know, I had to move from just calling God from just calling, saying, I know God, mm. with being with him, you understand? So being with God has its, it has its precautions, you understand? Mm. So when you're with God, when you come out, it's evidence. When Moses came down from the mountain, mm -hmm. people knew he was with God. True. So I'm saying it's, it's a feeling that it's a, it's a reflection of, like say, it's a fragrance that's available to all who spend time with him. Mm. So for Nigerians, we, we have gone through everything you understand and the only one who we have realized can bring us out of whatever challenge whatever mountain is yeshua god and that's why nigerians are the way we are yeah. nigeria <laughs> there's a lot yeah. going on in nigeria but but god. anyway embracing god there's always that difference you can clearly see someone yeah. who is spends time with god yeah. someone who just knows God, True. like I know God. True. You're like, me, see, yeah, I know, see, I know. True. And then, you know, I know this God. Yeah. There's no yeah. and no way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about your music. Okay. Because your sound is so different, I'm loving it. Wow. Uh, that song that just faded out, it's peace. It the the, the one I now is peace. peace. Yes. Uh, um, it's a song that came at every song I have, by God's mercy, brought forth this part of my experience. Mm. I don't write because I want to write a song. I don't do songs to become a hit superstar. Mm. I write reflecting my testimony of what God through songs. You understand? So peace was in the period when I was on the streets. I had nothing. Mm. Yes, I have slept under the bridge. What? I have, I've mm -hmm. had people who've, who've called me nuts. This guy is crazy. How can you say you want to do music? I said I'm not doing music. I want to worship God full time. You understand? I'm one who is family had And see, when God calls you, you test you, you understand? And mm. people think that when you walk with God, it's going to be rosy. It's not rosy. So in that period, I had to draw close to God. And for some reason, he made me see that having no food also brings peace. Having food also brings peace. Having a house brings peace. Not having a house also brings peace. Because it shows you different dimensions mm. of God. So for me, that's when I decided to, oh God, you know what? If I let my eyes see the way I see, I'll fall into depression. I'll fall into many, many things that would not even help me grow. And then the world is watching you. Even you, the world is watching you. Everybody's watching. What's, what's she saying? The only way they know what you're saying is what you're leaving out. You understand? So for me, peace was the only way to explain to people that, see, I am who I am today because I have chosen to see the way God sees, hear the way God hears, and think the way God hears. So that's for peace. Whether you have it or not. Yes. Peace is yeah, because the Bible says yes. in season and out of season. Yes. It leads to our base and abound. Yes. yes. Ah, amazing. And of course, there's a time before you. I want us. I want you to take us that musical journey yeah. from you being here now to to becoming 
to starting your musical journey. Yeah. Yes, take us through that journey. Because you, you have shared, there's a point you are in the street. Yeah. At what point did you start music? Um, okay, so this is my 25th year in music. <laughs> I, I 15? 25th. 2-5. 25. Right. Yes, I, I began music as a drummer in a church um, at the age of seven. I went into professional music that's playing the drums at the age of 10. Um, at, at that period, I was also in school with my family. I have a twin brother. And then um, we're all in the choir. My, mm. We grew up in the choir. Brother, yes, and the then, choir. yeah, and then mm -hmm. my family had seen me as this is the smart one. So they, you know how your family begins to paint your future for you, which was good because <laughs> I started doing all that. I started going to school and then in between, I just felt the need. There's a separation God did through my, my mom. For some reason, mm -hmm. it was I, she made her handbag. She's going for prayer and fasting. It's Jonathan. She's going for this meeting, Jonathan. And I'm like, we're twins. Take my twin brother. Cindy, you see only me, you carry. Every time I'll go to the church, I see people doing, hack, hack. I'm like, Aki, I'll go home and sleep. So, um, but she knew what she was doing. Because mm. I, I have a testimony. There's a, there was a period in my life when mm. the hospital declared me dead. You understand? I was mm. 10 years old and my nanny was feeding me. Mm. And then, you know, in Nigeria, we have stock fish. This is dry fish. Mm. So the nanny did not see the bone and then gave it to me. I swallowed it and then it hooked. They had to feed me because I am bad with food. I hardly eat. So they have to force me to eat. So while I was swallowing, Eba, Eba is like your own Ugali, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So I swallowed it and it was stuck here. I couldn't, I was choking and then it took me to the hospital. Mom went for prayers, came back and found that they had closed me with the clothes. And then for some reason, she says, no, not under her watch. Mm -hmm. She closed the door behind her, came, removed her clothes mm -hmm. and laid on top of me and was praying into my mouth. She did it for 30 minutes. She stood up, nothing happened. Came back again. And at the seventh minute, I coughed out the blood, coughed out the bone, and it had a bit of flesh in it. That's when, when my mom tells me, Jonathan, oh yeah, church. I say, I'm going. <laughs> Where? We go, you understand? Yeah. So my story has, prayers, yes, go. God has, has guarded <laughs> me with a testimony where mm. I can't go anywhere. You can't mm. see me doing secular. To shock you, I've never been to a club before. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've, I, I was some, at, at some point I lived, in, I lived and worked in the UK and then while things were being very rosy, you understand, God told me, come back to, come back to Africa. So I came back because there's a reason why every one of us exists. There's a mission. Mm -hmm. Everyone, there's a mission on your head. So I came back and then the music began uh -huh. fully. And then God tells me, I want you to sing for me because mm -hmm. then I was more of a drummer. And I started playing, I started singing, and I used to sing in the bathroom like every one of us, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. And then God begins to do something weird with me. I'm sleeping, ah. I'm hearing songs. I don't write songs. Mm -hmm. The songs you've been hearing, mm -hmm. I, never, I never wrote them. I hear them, and I record on my phone. That's why my phone is always full. I hear songs. Mm -hmm. And I hear down to how the music should go, the instruments, the kind of parts I'm hearing. And people say it's impossible. It is possible. Because you see, when you're betting God's exact sound, he gives you everything. The same way he gave Noah how he wanted the ark to be, you understand? So that's how my songs have come. Mm. And then it's not been easy because there are times when you don't have money because mm. it's, it's capital intensive, you understand? Mm. You don't have money, so I have to wait. Mm. Yeah, let's compromise. This, this DJ can, mm. this producer can take 5,000 shillings, but the project is what 100K shillings. What do you do? I can't run ahead of God. If God gave the vision to me, I wait. Mm. And he's been faithful. He has been faithful. And for me, I have been doing it. Whether they buy CD, they don't buy CD. Whether you I make money. But you see, mm. I have survived. And the reason why I have survived and I'm what I am today is because my mind has never been on, I want a hit. Mm. I want to become a known artist. I just want to be sure that every offering I lay on the table in music is a sweet smelling savoir in heaven. Ah. They recognize my worship. That's all my life has been about. Now, this is clear evidence of moving to Nigeria. <laughs> 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 the way you guys are speaking, hey, well, but yeah, I'm touched. Uh, clearly, you've been th in three countries. I'm sure there are more. Yeah. You say, but from Nigeria, our conversation, UK, UK and, and South even Africa. K oh, South Africa. Oh, yeah. you've even added South Africa. Yes, to I have. So, it was, <laughs> to so be, it, was actually, <laughs> it was actually Lagos, South Africa, Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then God tells me, I want you to be, there's work for you in Kenya. So now mm -hmm. I'm more in Kenya, Nigeria, Kenya, Nigeria. There's work in Kenya. Yeah. And South what? Africa once in a while. Do when, you mind mentioning when, the kind of work you're doing here in Kenya? It's what just worship. Worship. Song. Just worship. I'm ah. just here. Uh -huh. When I'm not in the studio, I'm praying. You're praying. When I'm not, in the when I'm not praying, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to young people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also helping people understand what worship is. Mm. So here is home for me, basically. Ah. But when I need yeah. to work, um, yeah. I go back home because my team is back in Nigeria. Yeah. But also he has told me he's also raising voices for me here in Kenya because ah. the music is not meant to be known by tribe. 
tribe. It's not meant to be known by 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 country. Um, there's 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 seed in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya is a land mm -hmm. of it's a fertile land. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's one of the things we're building. So I'm not rushing anyone into that space. So when he tells me I need I need to go back to Nigeria to record this, I go okay. record come. If he wants us to do something here, we'll do something here. So I'm not saying the guys in Nigeria are better or the guys in Kenya are mm -hmm. better. But you see, I only move by the leading, well, the leading of the of Lord. God. Yes. Yes. And uh, you've done music, great music I must say. And your latest song. Yeah. Ekele. Later song Ekele. Hey, what is it about? Because <laughs> I saw the dancing like this. I was like, I just want to finish this interview and try out that dance. You try the dance. I well you don't want to try it, it on screen so you don't no, fall no, your hand behind the scenes okay I, 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 I feel you I understand <laughs> yes, so you. that the CV is not stained thank you. yes so <laughs> ekele simply means um, praise Thanksgiving mm. it means gratitude it's an Igbo word it's from my tribe I'm Igbo, Igbo. you understand Ekele means praise and um, it's basically this God tells me raise me a sound of Thanksgiving now Thanksgiving the normal mind would believe that okay for all he has done yes but you see, there are certain mountains you've been waiting for since January to shift. Sometimes it's a dance. Mm -hmm. It's a worship that shifts that mountain. mountain. It's not the tongues. Uh -uh. It's not the fast. I'm not saying mm -hmm. it's not effective. But you see, there's a certain kind of dance and worship you give God regardless of mm -hmm. the pain, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever it is. It's just you showing God, I will praise you whether it works, whether, whether it does it not work. work. The fact that I can stand, I am breathing, it's you. So sometimes that mountain it needs your dance, needs your praise mm. to shift. Mm. It happened when you were walking around the, the, mount, the, the wall of Jericho. Mm. So that's what I'm saying here. So the ekele is a, is, a, is a victory declaration. It's a sound of victory. Mm -hmm. It's a sound of praise. It's a sound of gratitude. It's a sound of faith. So that's what the song is. It says ekele dinonumo. It means that there's praise on my lips. Chimo imela. My God, you've done so well. Nare kele narotito means take all, the, take all the glory, take all the praise. Basically, it's praise from the yeah. beginning to the end. So that's what the kele is about. Ah, powerful, powerful. Guys, you're going to see that video and even hear the words on it. You're going to love, love, love this song. Personally, in dance we could be in the scenes. <laughs> but anyway, Jonathan, thank you so, so much for coming. We bless God. Coming. We give God all the glory. Please come back again. Definitely. When you we'll go back to Nigeria back. or South Africa or UK <laughs> or wherever country you be, please come back. I will. Do not forget JC Circle. It's we home. Love you here. JC Circle is we home. Will I will come back again. So, I will so come back much. again. And how can guys support you, especially those that are watching today? Kenyans, awesome. guys. Kenyans, support. Ah, it's free on. of charge to please. subscribe. Exactly. Uh, you guys, I know you like to <laughs> watch watch videos um, and praise God via YouTube. But you can also support the move by subscribing, liking, sharing. Um, sharing also is a move of faith because you are also sharing to someone. You have no idea what that person is going through. So you can subscribe. My name is Jonathan Kome with, a, with one O. Your own Kome is double O. Mm -hmm. Mine is one. So Jonathan, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-K-O-M-E. That's the name on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Yes, we are doing Jesus yes, on TikTok. TikTok. We're not shaking anything. <laughs> Jesus everywhere. So that's where you can find me. Subscribe, share, and remember, if it hasn't happened, doesn't mean it's not already happening. Because most times things are happening at a period when things look tough. That's when a mountain is about to shift. So praise God with us and give him all the glory for the things he's done, he's doing, and he's yet to do. God bless you. Amazing. You said comment with a single o. Oh. Is this, do you have a Kenyan name? You know, they tried, They <laughs> actually tried to give me one name. Uh -huh. But you see, my spirit Your is spirit not sitting down with it. It says Njuroge. No, I'm like, I can I, give you from Aki my tribe. I, I can give you what from What name my, do you want to give us? I can give you Wandera. Wandera. You look, you look like hey. a Wandera. What does it mean? Eh? What does it mean? I, I don't know the name, meaning, ah. but it's a good name. It's a good name. It's a good one. Okay. We'll yeah. take it to God in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> But I like the way it sounds. Though. Yes. I like the way it sounds. Yes. Yeah. Do, do, do you have anyone you can send greetings today, this afternoon, okay. or this sixth day of November? I'm going to generalize this one. Okay, yes, so this is to it. my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ who are also mm. doing worship. Mm. More, grace, more grace to your elbow. And um, whatever challenge you are having um, in terms of the worship, music, God is, the, God is and will always remain with you. You're doing an amazing work. Congrats. God bless you, and God bless you towards your new season. And to the one who is out there who feels all is lost, don't give up. God is going to see you through. Your moment of testimony is just almost at your door. God bless you. Yes, God bless you too.